How's it going, pals? This is Ernez, and welcome to GeoGuessr. Uh, today we're playing in the whole world, and we're going to see how well it goes. I didn't give myself a time limit this time. I decided to uh, just give myself free reign, and we'll go ahead and check this out. What is that? Oh, they're building a bridge, but look how they got it, like, support it. All those... Ooh, I don't know about all that. And those big trucks are on it. Is that just for now? Or, yeah, that don't look very safe at all. Let's go ahead and get up here. It looks like some type of construction. Well, clearly. Yeah, it looks like that bridge has been there and they're kind of building something. Oh, no, it's definitely new. Okay. Trying to see if we can find out where this is. I don't, I don't know what language that is, honestly. The clouds are freaking beautiful here, though. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, I have no idea where this is. At all. Were they driving... They're driving on the right side of the road, I think. There's a goat. <laughs> I'm going to feel stupid if I don't get this. Or at least close. They are driving on the right side of the road, but... Hmm. Look at all the goats around. Lord. I can't tell what that says, dot something, but I can't tell what it is. Let me make sure I read that again. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like wondering if it's South America or if it is a, you know, a whole different country. You know, I, everything tells me that it's probably not South America. I, I don't know if other countries drive on the right side of the road or not. I feel like they might. I can't remember. We're gonna... We're gonna say that this is Guatemala. I don't know why. <laughs> but we're just gonna say that it is. And we're we're just gonna put it around this area. Well, actually, it's... It's rather flat. So maybe here. Or maybe it's in even Nicaragua. Yeah, let, let's put it right here. And let's just go for it. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I had I had the right idea. So it was Brazil. I just didn't go that far down. I was thinking like maybe around this area, not all the way down. Okay. I guess I should have seen that because the culture diff... The culture diff I can't talk today. The difference in culture was just really uh, major. So, yeah, that was all the way here. All right, next round. Okay. Don't know what language this is, so that's not a good sign. That's always bad. Okay. It's kind of got vibes of the last one, but not quite. Oh, I missed a few things here. Yeah, it's kind of got vibes of the last one. It's a little bit more tropical, though. Yeah, we're right there on water and stuff, so it's a little bit more tropical. Maybe even, you know, a, a small island or something. Not exactly sure yet. And this water, it does have a... It's more of a lake because it does have an end. Look, there's a wild horse. It's kind of cool. There's a bridge over here, too. Let's see if we can get to that bridge. Maybe it'll tell us a little something. A lot of people fishing and camping and stuff. Oh, this is as far as I can go here. Hmm. 
Okay. So I can't really go to the bridge then. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can go down here though. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking it's the same area. Like near Brazil somewhere. Just more on the water. Yeah, see, I don't know. BR, yeah, that's Brazil, right? Dot BR. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. So I think it's more on the water, and if we had to go by that water, then it would be, um, let's see, west, I think. I don't know. You know what? Let's put it near Salvador. Okay. Wow. So not far off at all. That BR definitely helped. So we was actually 530 miles, which sounds far, but, you know, in Brazil, that's pretty close. So not bad. It just needed to be south. Uh, we wasn't technically on the water, so I'm not sure why I put it that far, but it looks like there's a lot of... Uh, water that runs through there so that's probably what we were seeing and of course as always the top score that i want to get is around fifteen thousand. i don't know if i'm going to get there though this car is driving on the right hand side so i got to keep that in mind see what kind of language we got running here okay so this one would be uh where am i Oh, here we go. So this one would be Norway, Sweden, or Finland. I don't know if Norway or Sweden drives on the right-hand side. It looks like Finland doesn't have those little... Yeah, they do too. Okay. Those little things there. So they actually have those. The Sweden, I can't remember. Yes, yeah, Sweden has them as well. All right. Um, it looks like all of them do though. Well, Norway has like uh things in their thing, so I'm I'm gonna jump in right away and say it's Finland. But let's travel a little bit more and check. Well, it isn't like we can do much, but we'll travel down and see if we can get to a town. Oh, here we go. It has a few signs back there. I kind of wish I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like this is like a... Vic? Didn't I see that a minute? Oh, no. Okay. I wish I could find something that's like, you're in Sweden or you're in Finland. <laughs> uh, I'm not that lucky. It's a pretty area, though. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and put it in Finland and see. It's got to be these three, but I'm going to go with Finland. We're going to put it like right over here, though, just to see if we can, you know... Okay, so we did it there. I'm kind of glad I did put it on the edge here because it was Sweden after all. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're right across the water, 129 miles. That's pretty good, you know. All right, round four. Definitely not in America. <laughs> Definitely not in America. Okay. Look at the, like, a kind of modernish building next to this. That's kind of a cool thing. Look at those pose. Your electric pose are kind of cool, whoever you are. Can we maybe get in there? No. So we need to try to figure out, and I believe that was driving on the right-hand side as well. I keep skipping some of the cars. Look at the architecture here. Oh my god, I don't even know. 
I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know. I kind of want to get to this building to see what the heck this is. Did I pass it? I did pass it. Can I, like, view you? What are you? Yeah, what is that? That's weird. Can I, like, minimize this even more? There we go. Yeah, that, that looks weird. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Okay. All right, we're going to continue down this road for just a little bit. I'm a little bit lost of what this could be. Oh, that's a sprinkler system. I thought it was raining in one area. Oh, look, there's a gun. I'm not sure about that. Alexa, shut up. <laughs> Alexa was like, I'm not sure about that. Okay, we're going down here. Okay. Getting some more information. I don't know who does. Like, I know Russia does sounds like that. I don't know if Sweden and them does. Man. This one kind of sucks because I feel like I should know where this is. Dang it, can't see that sign. I mean, look at that. D-122 and stuff like that. Let's see. It's... Where am I? Do they have roads? It's like D stuff. Yeah, E. E. Let's see about Sweden. Sweden's just 90. Oh, there's a easy. Yeah. So yeah, they even have them there as well. So that's not helping me. I need D's. What country uses D's for highways? There's a P. Yeah, I don't know, honestly. Let's see. Does Russia use? No, Russia uses EOMs. Ukraine, maybe? No, they're E's as well. Yeah, I don't know who the heck uses D's, though. I believe all of this area will be like E's and A's and things like that. So I don't really know who the heck would use D's. If that's even highways, I'm just assuming. You know what? I'm going to go with my first instinct and I'm going to say Norway. I feel like this isn't... Yeah, that definitely isn't Norway. You know? Rudu, Milbert. Like, I don't... No. What flag is that? Red and white? Just red and white? Hmm. I don't know what flag that would be. It may be like turned over though and I can't see it all. Wait, where did the flag go? It, it disappeared. What the heck? You know, I'm going to take a weird guess. I'm going to actually vote that it's Spain. Shh, shh. Wow, okay. So either way it goes, you know, I feel like I'm closer here. So it was actually France, and it was actually near Paris. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, there's the D's. You have to scroll in a little bit farther. But I'm pretty sure all the area would use it then because it would be the same. Well, there's... Well, no, not necessarily. So I could have probably got it on that if I scrolled in a little more. So it was, like, right near Paris as well. Hmm, interesting. And lastly, yeah, I don't know. My first instinct is to say Australia. But I, even that, I don't know. Because I would have said, like, 
because I'm always confused with Australia and all that, but the red dirt and the lines is what's making me think Australia. Yeah, look, they put us in the middle of nowhere, honestly. And driving on the left-hand side of the road as well. Australia drives on the left-hand side, I think. Do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to get anywhere. Oh, there's a sign, though. Next service is Pentland. Yeah. So, we're going we're gonna to say Australia... But what location? Because I know certain... Because I used to play this and a lot of y'all was giving me like um, tips and stuff. And I know some of you said something about like parts of Australia will have red dirt and then parts of it wouldn't and things like that. I'm really bad with geography. So like when, when you know, like some people I've seen play this game, they'll they'll know right where they are just because of the way the trees look or the or the dirt. And that's something that I really wish I could get better with. And, I mean, I guess that's kind of the reason why we play these games as well. So, yeah, I'm just going to guess it in a random location, I think. I started to say, does Australia go with kilometers? But, I mean, everywhere does other than America. Because we're dumb. Yeah, we're, ju we're just going to throw it in the Northern Territory. Wow, okay. So he's only 649 miles off. So it was up near Queensland. So they're, they're red in that area as well. If I'm wrong with that, uh, you know, correct me as well, because I, I definitely want to learn things like that. So, oh, he is actually in a national park, White Mountains National Park. Well, right out of it. Okay. Well, so that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then, uh, of course, always hit that uh, like button. We got 12,442 points, so not exactly at our 15,000 there, but I enjoyed it anyway. And uh, as always, you can be a pal and subscribe.